Weighing in at 400 grams is this beef lasagna by Goodfellas. Looks nice on the box. Let's see if it's nice in the mouth. So we have beef and tomato ragu layered with fresh egg pasta and bechamel sauce topped with cheese and herbs. You can oven cook it for 40 minutes. You can microwave it for 10 minutes. I think what I'm going to do today is microwave it and then shove it in the air fryer for a couple of minutes to give it a little bit of brown action. So here it is, my friend, straight out of the microwave and air fryer. And do you know what? That worked really well. Absolutely. The oven can run it. All right, let's get nice and close to this cheesy, meaty fella. So here's our cheesy, herby top. Comes away. A bit stretchy. Underneath that, we have this bechamel sauce. Oh, that's pleasing. And look what that air fryer has done to it. I do like a dark edge. Okay, let's try and remove that top layer. So underneath the top layer, we have this beefy action. The beef makes up 20% of this lasagna. It smells pretty good. Let's try and get underneath the next layer. We can see there's three layers. There we go. So we've got these nice meaty flaps. And right at the bottom is more of that beefy sauce. Looks nice on the fork. Reminds me of one of those dogs off Ghostbusters walking towards us. I like these bechamel sauce waves as they crash over the pasta sheets. It's also nice to see so many herbs and spices. And I particularly like this reptilian's head staring that way. So it's time to get involved. For the first mouthful, I've gone deep to get a bit of everything. Right, here we go. Oh yeah, that's a nice lasagna right there, my friends. You can taste a little bit of wine in the beef, but it's not much. It's just about the right amount. The bechamel sauce, nice and creamy. And that cheese, as well, you can actually taste that cheese. Gives it a little bit of tanginess. I'm going to treat myself now and have an edge. Oh, that was magnificent. Wow, that tasted like some really hard on cheese on toast with a little bit of beefy wine in the background. These pasta sheets are nice and soft. I've got some more or less on their own here just to check that out. Yeah, they're lovely. They're just the right texture. I've had no gnarly bits. I've had no gristly bits. So the mince has cooked down nicely. So finally, I'm going to try that mince on its own just to make sure. Yep, perfectly fine. Absolutely no complaints whatsoever. As I carried on playing through this thing, there was not one gnarly bit. The flavour is wonderful. It's perfectly seasoned. And when you get a bit of that cheese in any mouthful, it's to die for. This is a 10 out of 10 lasagna to the last bite. Mmm. So good, fellas, beef lasagna. I have no beef whatsoever with this product. I do realise you have to spunk a bit of till out in order to get one of these, but you know what? It's worth it as a treat now and again. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Enough with the aeroplanes. Tiff, it's got to be flat. Get off the rest of the bar. Hi, hi. They're just the right. Wow. So finally, I'm um, <laughs> just to make sure. Ah. <laughs> As I ploughed through this thing, I found absolutely no gnarly bits in the whole.